day we're alive. We thank God for one more day that He has given us by His grace to share, to care, to maybe touch someone else's life and they may have given up on all hope or all possibility of being delivered from whatever circumstance they're in. And I don't mean in some deliverance way, but rather in some way to know that someone else cares. You know, when you hear about people that commit suicide or that in some way become violent and take their life or someone else's, a lot of what is found in their personal life is that they felt themselves alone or rejected by the world, you know, and what we as followers of Jesus can do is to help the world to recognize that in God, because God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever, anyone and everyone that believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life that they can find acceptance in God, that it's not a criteria of doing good and being good, but because the good God gave his son to make us good in his sight. And that reality can cause a person, if we love them, to choose an alternative path than self-destruction or the destruction of others. In a violent world in which we live, and a violent age as it is at the end of the age, we find that Jesus said, In the world you shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. We are learning to overcome our own inadequacies that in some way, somehow, we might touch another life so that they would find that though this world may not have been what they thought it would be, God has intended for them a better salvation a better place, a realization that He can deliver them from anything that they're in. And if you find yourself in that predicament, or if you're the person that's sharing with someone else, please, don't waste time. Tell them about Jesus in you. You don't have to make up some spiritual law or some Roman road or some four steps or six steps or ten steps. If you know them, great. If you don't, don't worry about it. Just share what you know and care with what you have, and God will take care of the rest. Because all He wants you to do is to tell them about Jesus. My consolation. O Jesus, come and walk with us and let us feel thy very nearness. I walk with you. O think, my children not only to guide and comfort you and strengthen and uphold, but for solace and comfort for myself. When a loving child is by you, is the nearness only that you may provide protection and help for that little one? Rather, too, that in that little child you may find joy and cheer and comfort in its simplicity, in its love, and in its trust. So, too, is it in your power to comfort and bring joy to my heart. Often we take God for granted as though he were not a human being to experience feelings like we have, and yet Jesus wept. We sometimes take for granted that because he's the son of God, we forget that he's the son of man and he is not only tempted as we were, but likewise felt the same feelings we feel. I like to say he had a bowel movement. <laughs> I like to say that he felt pain. I like to say that he felt loneliness. I like to say that he felt compassion. Because that is my Jesus. It's like today, I am so thrilled that God is with me because yesterday and last night I suffered extremely, tremendously is what I wanted to say, enormously and extremely and tremendously all at the same time, which I came up with this tremendously, <laughs> which is just like my mind to make these connections. But I had a migraine, and severe, and just brings you to your knees. And 
when that happens, it's like such a challenge, you know, to endure the suffering and then come to the place of aftermath where you feel the pain is gone, but there's a vacancy almost as though you're anticipating and you're you're nervous because it, is it there, you know, and is it coming back? And, you know, you kind of have this almost negative expectancy or anticipation if you're a Christian because you don't really fear it, but you anticipate its return. And when it doesn't happen, it's like, wow, it's kind of a little different. And God sometimes takes his hand and holds back for his reasons. You're suffering. Because in his stripes, we are healed, but not spared from the consequences of sometimes that which is in the world. And so, if you're like me and you've gone through some suffering and you're in the aftermath, then just relax. God knows. And let him be with you today and comfort him because he's bearing your pain as much as he is mine. Today, talk to Jesus. I know he wants to hear from you.